Michael Ong Twain. Michael Ong Twain was a Burmese American historian and emeritus professor at the University of Hawaii at Penoa, specializing in early Southeast Asian and Burmese history. Ong Twain was born in Rangoon, Burma in 1946. Ong Twain's mother, Margaret Hope Ong Twain of mixed Anglo-Burmese, Karen, and Arachne's descent was a Fulbright scholar and lecturer. He attended Kodake Nal International School in South India, where his mother taught. He earned a Bachelor of Arts degree at Doane College in 1969, followed by a Master of Arts degree at University of Illinois, Urbana Champ. Campin in 1971, PhD at the University of Michigan. Ong Twain died at his home in Hawaii on August 14, 2021 after a long illness. Ong Twain was married to Maria and had two children, Meriti and Amita. Meriti Ong Twain is a Burmese-American historian and professor at NAS. James Robert Thompson James Robert Thompson was an American attorney and politician who served as the 37th governor of Illinois from 1977 to 1991. A moderate Republican who sometimes took more liberal stances on issues, he was Illinois' longest-serving governor, having been elected to four consecutive terms and holding the office for 14 years. In later years, Thompson served as a member of 9-11 Commission charged with investigating the September 11 attacks. Thompson was born in Chicago, the son of Agnes Josephine Swanson and James Robert Thompson, a physician. His maternal grandparents were Swedish and his father was descended from colonial Massachusetts Governor da David Thompson through an entirely paternal line. After suffering heart issues, Thompson died on August 14, 2020 at the age 84. Paul Thompson was inducted as a laureate of the Lincoln Academy of Illinois and awarded the Order of Lincoln by the Governor of Illinois in 1991 in the area of government. He died on 14th August. May his soul rest in peace. Angela Buxton. Angela Buxton was a British tennis player. She won the women's doubles title at both the French Championships and Wimbledon in 1956 with her playing partner, Althea Gimson. Buxton was born in Liverpool on 16 August 1934, one of the two children born to Harry and Violet Buxton. Her grandparents on both sides were Jewish and had immigrated to England from Russia, fleeing the pogroms in the early 1900s. She was raised partly in South Africa. Buxton's father owned a successful cinema chain in northwestern England, which allowed her to attend boarding school at Glodaith Hall. While there, a coach noticed her tennis ability and urged her to acquire more training. Buxton began playing tennis at a young age after spending time undergoing training in London at Los Angeles. In 1954, she earned the British number four ranking. She died on 14th August. May her soul rest in peace. Julian Alexander Julian Alexander was an English classical guitarist and lutenist. Regarded as one of the most distinguished classical guitarists of the 20th century, he played a significant role in improving the public perception of the classical guitar as a respectable instrument. Over the course of a career that spanned more than half a century, Bream also helped revive interest in the lute. Bream was born in Bittersea, London, England to Henry and Violet Jesse, knee right Bream. At the age of two, he moved with his family to Hampton in London, where he was brought up in a musical environment. His father was a commercial artist and an amateur jazz guitarist who was unable to read music but had a finely attuned ear and could play a lot of popular music. His mother, a homemaker of Scottish descent, had a warm and loving personality but no interest in music. His parents divorced when he was 14. After three and a half years in the army, he took away any musical jobs that came his way, including background music for radio, plays and films. Recording sessions and work for the BBC were important to bring throughout the 1950s and the early 1960s. In 1984, Bream seriously injured his right arm in a car accident. First wife was Margaret, the daughter of the writer Henry Williamson, with whom he adopted a son. After the divorce, he married Is Isabel Sanchez in 1980. That marriage also ended in divorce. He died on 14th August. Graham Vivian. Graham Vivian was an Australian rules footballer who played for the Geelong Football Club in the Victorian Football League and the East Perth Football Club and West Perth 
football club in the Western Australian National Football League, born in Western Australia and of indigenous heritage through his Noongar mother, Farmer is considered one of the greatest footballers in the game's history. When the Australian Football Hall of Fame was established in 1996, Farmer was among the 12 inaugural players given legend status. He is primarily recognized for the way he revolutionized ruck work and handballing. After retiring as a player, former returned to Geelong to become the VFL's first coach of indigenous background and he was also named coach of Western Australia's first state of origin team. He was born at the Hillcrest Maternity Home in North Fremantle to an unknown man and 25-year-old Noongar woman from Galtening named Eva. In 1971, former became the first Australian footballer to receive a Queen's Honour when he was named a member of the Order of the British Empire in the New Year Honours list. Farmer's name was included in the 150 bronze tablet set into the footpath along St. George Terrace that commemorate notable figures in Western Australia's history as part of the Bay 1979 celebrations. He was included in the Sport Australia Hall of Fame in 1985. He died on 14th August. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and keep supporting us by liking and sharing our video to your friends and relatives. Goodbye.